Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a hover effect inside of Roblox Studio. So, this script can work for any button or label you have. Uh, all you need to do is just insert a script and insert this code, and it will work. So, let's just get right into it. So, first thing we're going to do is go under the View tab and open up the Explorer and Properties. So, for this tutorial, we're going to assume that you already have a button. So, we're going to quickly insert one under the Starter GUI. Uh, and then obviously you can customize your button under the properties. I'm not going to do that though. So I'll just leave the button in the middle here, just like that. All right. So under our button, we're going to click the plus, enter in a local script, and I'm going to rename this local script to hover effect. All right. So let's just get right into it. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can copy what I write. So I'm going to start off with some services. So local tween service equals to game colon get service. And inside the brackets, we're going to put in quotation marks and then we're going to put in tween service just like that. And then we're going to go down two lines. So after services, we're going to need a whole bunch of variables. So we're going to start off with local UI equals to script dot parent. So the UI is your button or text that we are going to create the hover effect on. All right. So since we put the script under our button, our UI is going to be our button. So next up, we're going to need some original sizes and position. So we can write local original size equals to UI dot size and then local original position equals to UI dot position. So this just saves the current UI size and position so we can change between uh, the hovered and the unhovered versions of our UI. All right. So next up, we're going to create a variable for increasing the size. So that's going to be local hover size increase equals to, and this is going to be udum 2new And then here we're going to write in some numbers. So they're going to be pretty small. So it's going to be 0 0.01 comma 0 comma 0 0.01 comma 0. So this is just us increasing the size ever so slightly. And then we're going to go down the line and then we're going to write local hover size equals to the original size and then plus the hover size increase. So obviously, if you want to change how much uh, your UI scales by, you can change these numbers in here. Uh, the bigger the number, the bigger it's going to get. So after we have that, we're going to go down a another line. So now we got to do the position so we can write local hover position equals to and then this is going to be the original position. And then we're going to subtract udum 2new And then in here, we're going to write the hover size increase dot X and then dot scale. And then we're going to divide that by 2.0. And then we're going to divide that by two and then comma. We're going to put in the zero, a comma, and then the hover size increase dot Y dot scale. And then we're going to divide that by two again comma and then a zero. So basically what this does is it pretty much just ensures that our UI stays in the same position as the hover uh, does its thing. So after that, we're going to go down the line and then we're going to write local tween time equals two. And then this is just how long you want the animation to animate for. So usually a very small number, something like 0 0.2, 0.1. I'll just keep mine at like 0 0.2 for now. Also, time is spelt wrong here should be like that. So tween time. All right. So that is all of our variables done. So we can now go down two lines and we can now write our actual tweens. So we're going to start off with the local hover tween. So this is when we hover our mouse over our button. And this is going to be our tween service. And then we're going to create a new tween. So colon create. And inside the brackets, we're going to write UI and then comma. And then we're going to write tween info dot new and here we're going to put in all of our information for our tween so we're just going to put in our tween time and then we're going to put a comma and then we're going to put in some curly braces just like that we're going to write size and then we're going to write equals so size is going to be our hover size and then we're going to put a comma and then we're going to write position equals to the hover position just like that. And we're going to go down the line and then we're going to write the leave tween now. So local leave tween equals to. So the first part is going to be the same. So it's going to be tween service colon create inside the bracket. It's going to be UI comma. And then it's going to be the tween info dot new. 
And then this time in the brackets, we're going to write the tween time. Uh, and then outside one bracket, a comma, we're going to put in curly braces. We're going to write size equals to the original size. And then comma position equals to the original position, just like that. And finally, our last section is going to be our uh, functions. So we can write UI dot mouse enter colon connect function, put in brackets and then go down a line. And then we're just going to write hover tween colon play. And then you can go down two lines and write UI dot mouse leave colon connect function, put in brackets, go down a line, and then you can write leave tween colon play. So what basically we've done here is when the mouse enters the button, we're going to play our hover tween, our hover tween, which is uh, our new UI that's slightly bigger, and we're going to tween it or animate it. And then when we detect the mouse leaving the button, we're going to play the leave tween, which uh, sets everything back to the original. So that should be it, and we can go test it out now. So here I'm inside the game. You can see the buttons right there in the middle. If I hover my mouse over it, you can see that it gets slightly bigger, and if I leave, it gets a little smaller. So just like that. All right, I'll also show you guys that it works for any size button. So I'm just gonna make it a little bigger, just like that. So I go here, you can see it gets a little bigger when I hover over it, just like that. All right, so that'll be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.